Hey everybody, I finally got one. Essential Phone PH1 is in the house. I want to thank Essential's PR uh, folks. They've been wonderful to work with. I know it's taken them a while to get me a device and uh, I know they've been very low on stock. So thank you, kudos. Uh, this is one of the phones of the year in terms of design. So I really, really wanted to get my hands on one. So that's the box. There's a bunch of serial numbers here. Uh, I'm not sure what it means as an IMA, bunch of stuff. There's the essential logo, nothing on this side. Uh, and aha, here we go. Pure white. Oh my God, it's a white one. I am in heaven. Guys, you know how much I like the color white. So for my phones, look at that. White and then it says... Include fast charger, USB cable, headphone adapter, blah, blah, blah. This is super awesome. Wow. And look at that. It's fresh in the box. I'm opening it literally live. Oftentimes I get the boxes. They've already been open. And, you know, I look at them before my unboxings. But this is it. You ready? Ta-da. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to put this down and slide it open. You ready? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is something else. Oh my God, it's white. Oh my God, it's titanium white and ceramic. Holy crap. I'm sorry guys, this is insane. Wow. Okay, this phone makes a statement. I thought the Mi Mix made a statement. I've seen the Essential before, but in black, it just didn't do it for me, guys. In white, it's a whole new dimension. Wow. Okay, so let's see what's in the box before we continue because I'm just losing my mind here. Okay, uh, calm down. We've got a charger. Wow, it has some heft to it. It's got... USB-C, of course, it's got like some sort of metal plate. Now, you know, I don't generally unwrap these things. I tend to be a little predictable when it comes to chargers. I just kind of have all the potentially compatible chargers out on a, on a power bar and I don't unwrap the new ones unless some new charger comes along. Like when Huawei went for their own custom uh, universal charger, uh, fast charger, and then when OnePlus did their own fast charger, then I added them to the power bar. If this is different, and then I'll add it, but probably not because it'll probably either be PD or Qu uh, Quick Charge 3 at this point, or 4 or 5 or whatever Quick Charge. But there you have it. Power brake. It's pretty heavy. It's pretty big. Um, then we've got a very fancy USB Type-C to Type-C cable. Check it out. All right. Type-C to Type-C. Oh, look at this. It's like fabric, right? This is really nice, guys. Hmm, I might put this in my bag because I'm always looking for a really high quality Type-C to Type-C cable. And then we've got the headphone adapter, which is beautiful as well. And I'm hearing rumors, you know, that I, I use headphone adapters. I use 3.5 millimeter. I have a large collection of really high-end headphones and earbuds. And I refuse to do wireless and I refuse to, you know, I'm pretty much against removing headphone jacks from phones. So when there is an adapter, I'm always a little weary because sound quality is an issue. And I'll tell you why. I've kind of explained this on the podcast and other videos, but there's two types of USB adapters, USB-C adapters. Um, analog ones, which like the Moto Z and the Le Eco phones have, um, and they just pass through the signal from inside the phone is an amp and a DAC and they pass it through. And then there's digital adapters, which this is, which the U11 uses, U11 Life. Watch my U11 Life review. Uh, it's just the previous video to this. Um, and the Pixel 2, of course, has this. Watch my Pixel 2 reviews. So those three use digital adapters. It means there is no DAC or headphone amp in the phone. It's all in the dongle. Uh, so these are more expensive and complicated dongles. So the Essential, like the 
uh, Pixel 2, like the U11, has a active digital dongle. So very much like the Lightning dongle from the iPhone, which has all the electronics in it. And I'm hearing rumors that not only is this super tasty and beautiful and metal and cloth, but it's one of the best sounding dongles on the market. So I'll test this with my Pixel, test this with my U11, of course with my Essential phone. Just wanted to give you a heads up because a lot of people don't understand what's going on with these dongles and it's a very critical thing. So there you go. Whew, five minutes on a dongle. Yeah, that's me. All right, let's see. Do I have anything under here? There's a little, oh, there's a tab. Whoa, look at this packaging, guys. It's like right in here. Insane. So there we go. Um, there is a re SIM removal tool here and a little silver dot. And I'm not sure what this is. Probably the only manual in here. It says essential phone, legal and warranty. So there you go. I won't let you read that, it's crazy. Okay, so anyway, then we've got, you know, I'm I, as an aside, you know, I can't read all your comments because the script is really small on the screen. And even though I get my reading glasses on, I have no idea what you're asking, but, um, I'm surprised there's so many people watching this live. Yesterday I unboxed the Mi Mix 2. Like this phone right here, let me show it to you. The Mi Mix 2, yesterday. Go, go watch the video, this is in the case now. It's a, it's a beautiful phone, this is super high-end as well, super bezel-less as well. And, and I had nobody live on the video, I, I, don't, I don't know why. Okay, I don't think this can be removed, guys. Um, I'm trying, but there's nothing. So I think this is the content, this is what we're getting. Um, these three things and the phone, the phone is right here. And of course, you know, this little partition, which I'm going to put away. So of course, the next thing you want is me to remove the wrappers. Cause I know you love the sound of removing wrappers, man, look at this thing. Wow. I mean, the only one that would make me go even further crazy would be the emerald and gold version. Okay. Let's do this. You ready? Here's the sound. Oh yeah, baby. And then there's one in the back as well. You ready? One, two. Oh wait, we're gonna have some noise outside my house. So let's wait for the noise to go away before I peel that sticker. Here we go. Oh, that is a satisfying sound. All right. Whew. This is a... Uh, Freaking hot, guys. All right, let me turn this on. Let's look at the display. I'm not gonna set it up live on the show, of course. Oh yeah, look at that. But I'm going to show you the display, at least as far as I can go. Ooh, very fancy logo. You know, and in a way, I'm glad I'm getting it so late because, you know, it's a review unit and it's been, what, three months, two months since it launched? And as you know, there's been a lot of issues and controversies with, with camera performance and other things. Wow, look at this, it really is. All of it is screen, look at this, look at that. Um, a little bit of fade uh, when you um, tilt it, but it's an IPS panel, I believe, not OLED. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it is OLED. Maybe that's why the fade happens. And there's no blue tint though, so usually OLED has a bit of a blue tint, even the iPhone 10 has it, the Pixel 2 has it a lot, the V30 has it, the Samsung phones not so much. So anyway, there you go. Look at this beaut. So, in case you were born in a cave yesterday, what should you know about this phone? This phone is made by a company called Essential. They're a new startup. They're based here in California in the Silicon Valley. I'm here in San Francisco today. Uh, and they are founded by a guy named Andy Rubin. Andy Rubin is a guy who pretty much invented Android or, you know, his company called Android, created Android and got bought by Google like years ago. And, you know, now Android is a big deal. And he's left Google a while ago and he created his company Essential and they made an Android phone amongst other things. And this is it. So spec wise, what we're looking at is, I don't know the exact details and specs of the, of the, um, storage here because I couldn't read anything on the box that told me how much storage it is, but I think it's like something like four gigs of RAM and probably 64 gigs of storage. I don't think there, there's micro SD, but maybe there is, we'll figure that out. 
Uh, I was so excited I didn't even look at the specs. I know it's Snapdragon 835, so it's a flagship, it's high-end. Um, and this screen is pretty big despite the size of the phone. So it's probably like a 5.8 or 6-inch screen. Uh, and then um, it's ceramic and titanium. So this metal bit you see around here is titanium and the back is ceramic. And that's uh, pretty unusual. I mean, the Mi Mix 2 and the Mi Mix Original are available with ceramic bodies, but... Uh, yeah, um, so it's IPS from what I read here, uh, and it's 128 gigs of storage, somebody's saying. I don't see how much RAM, maybe somebody can tell me. But um, yeah, I should have probably looked up the specs. Thanks, guys. Um, so anyway, it doesn't matter. It's a flagship. You're going to get good specs. Um, there is a dual camera system in the back with no OIS, which I remember clearly now because it really pissed me off at launch. Um, so you see a dual flash here. Two lenses, I don't know if you can really see these. There you go. Two lenses, and then there's this wireless accessory. Well, it's not wireless, well, yeah it is. It's wireless, but it's not contactless. So basically, these two little dots are magnets, and there's accessories that can tag to the back and connect uh, wirelessly via wireless USB, high speed, um, to the accessory and power it. I believe maybe the power is through these pins as well. And there's a 360 camera accessory. They didn't send it to me, so you know you can't have it all. So uh, yeah. So there you go. Uh, yeah. So somebody's saying four gigabytes. Is that, am I reading that correctly? Yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. Four gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. Uh, I'm not sure about micro SD, but I'll check. Um, and no headphone jack, right? We've already covered that from the adapter. And dual camera, um, so that's gonna be interesting to play with that camera system. Uh, I'm wondering how it's gonna pan out, uh, but I'm gonna give you a walk around because I know you like that. So, some antenna bands on this titanium edge, uh, volume rocker, power lock key, more um, bands, antenna bands, and then of course you've got a SIM tray at the bottom here, You've got USB Type-C connector, speaker grill, I guess it's a mono speaker. There's nothing at all on the left-hand side. And the top is empty as well. Here you've got an edge-to-edge -edge display. You can't really see it, but I believe there's a speaker in here somewhere in the, in the little slit there. And the front-facing camera, which will is cut out from the screen. There it is. And then down here, there is nothing, right? Um, so that's an interesting design. The Mi Mix has the front-facing camera down there. So that's a, you know, they did it up there, which is kind of, I think, better because you, you, you can, you know, it's more natural when you hold the phone. You have, don't have to flip it, up, flip it upside down. So it'll be interesting because I just received these two phones. I'm just about to travel to Europe, and I'm going to use these two phones while I'm traveling, both edgeless displays side by side and tell you what my experience is like. So there you go. Whew hot and bothered. This is the essential phone, folks. Um, stay tuned for more. I'm definitely going to be discussing this on the podcast. You know, the, these videos are primarily unboxings. Every now and then I do a review because there's an embargo or something, but I don't usually have time to review all the phones and, as a video. So, you know, mostly because I talk about them on my podcast. And if you want to get the review, really, you know, listen to the podcast. Sometimes I'll write a review on a website like Mobile Geeks or Chip Chick or some of the sites that I write on, but this is a place you come to see the goodness and you drool over it while I show it to you. And then you know what I'm talking about when I talk about it on the podcast. So podcast is at mobiletechpodcast.com. Go there. You'll find the RSS link. You can add that to your podcast catcher uh, and subscribe. And then you will also on iTunes. We're also on, on Pocket Casts. And, uh, you know, yeah, just subscribe to the podcast. And, of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is great. YouTube is fantastic. It's a great platform for creators like me to show you beautiful visuals, beautiful close-ups of beautiful devices and beautiful displays. So, yeah, uh, subscribe, like this video, tell your friends. Tell your friends about the podcast. You know, these are the phones that are running the world today. These are the aspirational devices. These are the top-notch devices that everybody wants. And thankfully, I get access to all of them. So come back, all right? Now, if you watch this live and you want more, I'm about to unbox the Pixel Book from Google. So stick around, look for another tweet, Facebook post, and or Google Plus post with a link to a live video. I'm doing it right now. Stay tuned. Probably about five, ten minutes. All right, cheers up.
Bye, everybody.